in my view, I think that the lawmaker, an average lawmaker in India, remains a very unserved and a crippled lawmaker because there are no independent advisory support which a lawmaker has. And I think it is necessary for legislatures and parliamentarians to be equipped by independent research staff which can enable him to make a more meaningful input as legislations pass through various stages of scrutiny in the standing committee and then of course in the plenary. Because right now the only advice to questions that legislatures may have even in the standing committee come from the very people who have framed those rules and regulations. In fact, speaking about myself, uh, whereas I have been greatly enriched by some support which the PRS has given me uh, uh, from, from, from this year and from time to time the kind of literature they have been sending me, I really, when speaking on the salaries bid in Parliament, did point out that it, it was as important to look to their emoluments as to look to the kind of supporting structure that the institution must provide for enabling them to more meaningfully discharge the huge responsibility which the constitution and which the people invest in electing the legislatures. Well, I thought that the PRS conference which they had arranged uh, in terms of uh, standing committees and in terms of existing parliamentary organs was a very valuable contribution. They got together people from different walks of life to deliberate on some of the issues. And I think right now, frankly, whereas we have developed a whole range of institutions to debate, deliberate, discuss uh, issues of economic and political concerns in this country, whereas the, there's a multiplicity of occasions in institutions and opportunities to debate economic issues per se, or social issues per se, there are very few forums which debate issues which have a far-reaching impact like the quality of legislation, debates in parliament, important subjects which really come up, which frame the decision-making process, which therefore are likely to govern the the, the overall social fabric of this country, that's regrettably very, very inadequate. And I think that the PRS is making an important and a notable contribution in fostering these kinds of debates and discussions from time to time. And I hope that other organizations are encouraged to do so because there is a huge missing gap which needs to be bridged.